morning today we're going to take you on a little tour of the park we've hired a little golf buggy and we're going to take you a little for a little tour around bluestone and show you what there is to see so we're starting off at our lodge we're in templar's court um we're at sort of an end of a cul-de-sac and we're just going to drive around and i'll show you what we see on the way so this is all templar's court as you can see, there's all different types of lodges here. This is quite a new area. I think these lodges have just been built. We're gonna come left out of Templars Court now head up here on the left you can see they're building some more lodges and um, the building work we haven't heard it at all actually considering we're quite close and it's exciting to see development and new lodges being built that's one thing we have seen as we've driven around we've seen them their maintenance program and we've seen them painting the lodges so um they're quite on top of keeping things looking really nice here If you go up that path there, that's the way you walk to the Blue Lagoon swim pool and the Adventure Centre. It's really quiet out here this morning. You can hear the birds like sort of singing in the trees. It's really, really peaceful. Just over there, I don't know if you can see, you've got a gorgeous view of the Pembrokeshire mountains. We saw another buggy! Everyone must be having a lazy day this morning because there's no one about. You can see a few more people coming up here. Yeah, that's another path up to the Blue Lagoon. I'm just going to stop to let one of the. Oh, somebody's in a car. This is a car free site, so normally you don't see cars, so maybe they're off leaving their holiday. It's quite nice being a car free site because it's um, much safer for the children. And we're coming up to the top here which is heading towards the car park. Over there you can see that's the adventure centre which is where the soft play is and quite a lot of the activities. A tractor! So down there is the Adventure Centre. Oh, we're going to get, take you down, have a look. You get to most places with a buggy or you can walk. The buggy's not going very far, so it doesn't take too long to walk. I walked this walk yesterday, which was absolutely fine. It's just when the weather's a bit grim, it's quite nice to be able to hop in the buggy. There is a bus that can take you around as well, which goes, you can see it going around all the time. And here we're at the Adventure Centre. There's a crash, a soft play, um, games and things, a lot of the activities in here. Shop. There's a little shop selling soft toys. Um, can we go in? There's a cafe, a wild meat cafe. Blue Lagoon. The Blue Lagoon is down there. Won't take you as far as that, but it's just down there. So everything's really quite close. Yeah, we'll take you in the Adventure Centre later. Up 
here you can see this is the main car park. That's where you have to leave your car for the duration of your stay. We're going to just head back now and show you down to the village. There's the buggy park. Collect your buggies and bikes. That's where you hire your buggy from. Oh, this is really good, the 4x4 for the kids. Oh, that's where you can do your 4x4 safari if you want to do that activity, which is really good fun. We did that last time we came. Oh, you see car ah. again? You can see just about over it's there. Such hair. You. It's in my face. <laughs> I told you to put hair back in. Hey, I don't want it. Because I want to be like a puncher. So yeah, we're heading just straight down this hill now, which will take us into the village. If we wanted to go back to our lodge, we would head down that way. It's a one-way system for cars, isn't it? Yes. The buggies can pretty much go wherever they want. Ah, the tournament field. Right, over here is the tournament field, which is again like sort of different activities you can pay to do, like archery and all things like that. That looks like loads of fun. Oh, these are the lodges that are being repainted. Oh. Down here to the left is where you go to Camp Smoky. Do we have a little look? We'll have a little look. And the Steep Ravine, which is again more like adventurous activities for older children and for grown ups as well, I think. A little bit bumpy. Hold on. So I think this is the yeah this is the the park buggy park to go to Camp Smoky. She's just down there. You have to walk down there. Just down here, some more open fields. Just showing you where you can do the other activities. Yeah, let's see with the other side of the tournament field. Yeah. This looks so fun. I think this is their zip wire. Let's see if we can spin around here. Uh, yeah, sky, <laughs> sky wires for the more daring of you. I want to. I'm daring. I know. Spinning back round now, and we'll head down to the village. What's our buggy called? None. None? Our buggy's called None. All the buggies got names and numbers. So nice and easy to find. And the, ch the kids love it, looking at all the different names of the buggies. And the lowest three, the lowest I've seen is number four. I've seen number two. Have you? Yeah. What's the highest you've seen? Yeah, I've seen one, yeah. number 100. Yeah. Do you know what I saw this morning, girls? I saw yeah. number 104. Do you know what it was called? What? Hamlet. <laughs> There's a bus stop. They've got bus stops dotted around. If you you don't want to walk and you haven't got a buggy. We're a hundred and... Down there you can see the village. 
to where we're heading towards. You can't drive your buggy in the village, so I'll just show you the sort of outskirts. I think it's starting to rain. It is starting to rain. We thought we had till 12 o'clock until it rained, but not no. today. Oh, I just saw 123. You saw 123, did you? Yeah. Didn't quite catch the name. Lena's! <laughs> <laughs> oh, look! We'll have to get that next time we're from <laughs> book number 79. Yeah, but they're going to get round to all of them. Huh. <laughs> 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 it does look nice, that colour. I quite like that. Maybe it's supposed to be that colour. <laughs> Rain. It's raining, isn't it? Yeah. Now, you can see we're just heading into the village. <laughs> you can see here some people, you can, you can hire out bikes and trailers as well. I don't want to put yours on the car. Here you can see the village. There's little cottages in the village, um, which are a bit smaller than the lodges. I think if you're just a couple or you've got one child. Ooh, a mixed one. Here's the village. This is good, isn't it? The, you can park your buggies pretty much everywhere. There's space everywhere, and they've got the recharging points. Here, there, and everywhere. They're dotted all around the lodges but also at certain points as well. Oh, we're driving past the lake here. We went for a little walk there yesterday. See the ducks? It's really pretty. And we pretty. saw baby, baby one. We saw baby ducklings, didn't we, on yeah, the lake? Yeah, we called it for mummy. Yeah. Duck pond. The duck pond. And here's the other sort of, come around the other side of the village. Got a shop, a food shop, a toy shop. It's a booking office. A few places to eat. Here's the spa, which sadly we're not going to try this time. And then up we go here is the village hall, which we haven't been in this time actually. But they sort of they play films and do little shows for the kids. I don't think this was here last time we came. Oh man, can I go in there? Yeah, maybe. So as you can see, there's plenty to do, whatever the weather here. And this is the guest services lodge. If you've got a problem, you can go into there. And here's the chippy, which is not, as it says, fish and chips take away. Tractor! We had chips from there last night, which is really nice. And here, behind the chippy, so in the middle of the village, is a outside playground for the kids, which is it's quite big, actually. It's called the tree house. It's called the tree house, and it's loads of fun, isn't it? And it's got something for all the ages there. And right in the middle, what we couldn't show you, there are two restaurants right in the middle, suitable for kids or adults or whatever you want. That's really good. So, is that the end of our tour, Daddy? I think it is. As we just turned up past the village, if we'd gone straight on, we would have ended up back where we started, just outside Templars Court and our lodge. But otherwise, we're just going back up towards the top, towards the car park for our day out. So that's our little tour of Bluestone. So we 